In other news, some people are looking forward to Nebraska's motorcycle helmet requirement going away next year. But one man's long road to recovery might change your mind. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto joins us now with his story. Veronica? Yes, a 20-year-old says he's grateful he's alive and is sharing his experience with other people so they can save their lives too. Cole Butger couldn't wait for the day to come when wearing a helmet while on your motorcycle becomes optional until he was hit by a car. So that's definitely a controversial one right now, which like my parents, they're excited about it. Like they're always like the feeling and no helmet and stuff like that. But like with me, I'm definitely going to wear one from now on because knowing it, it can save my life. On his way home from work in July, Cole says he remembers stopping to fill up on gas, then waking up in a hospital bed. He had been hit by a car at an intersection while riding his motorcycle. And supposedly I went airborne to the side of the road. I don't remember anything. The 20-year-old is now an outpatient at Madonna Rehabilitation Hospitals, recovering from broken bones and a spinal cord injury. Yeah, everything. I have no restrictions now. My bones are healthy. Everything's kind of healing up with the hardware I have in me. So I have a plate in my arm and then a rod in my femur. Doctors say thanks to his helmet, there were no injuries to his brain. Wearing my helmet definitely saved a lot of like head trauma and stuff. I'm pretty lucky I had it on. I don't even know if I'd be here today if I didn't have it on. According to the latest data from the Nebraska Department of Transportation, motorcycle helmet use rates fell to a five-year low in 2020. And the change in helmet requirements for Nebraska will go into effect on January 1st. For more on this story, you can visit calcantv.com. All right, thank you, Veronica.